to show you how to connect your new school email and Google Drive to Edmodo. Okay, so you want to connect so that you can download and upload things from your drive onto Edmodo without much hassle. All right, first of all, I just want to remind you that Edmodo has apps. This is the view from Model Student. So you have access to apps by clicking the app button, the apps button. So you can take a look at those. All right, you have Office Online, that's like Microsoft Word. If you don't have it on your computer, you can use Office Online right here and you can check out these other free apps that I found that I think um, are very three to four apps that I think that were interesting. All right. So be sure to check that out. And the other thing is your profile. When you click here, that drop down arrow, you can go to your profile and remember that you should change your picture, all right, and ensure that you have <coughs> completed the information about yourself how you like to learn and what you want to be when you grow up. These are important things that you should think about and try to keep in front of you, okay? Keep you motivated, all right? The other thing that you can do, go to settings and you now have an email so you can put your school email account here as your primary email okay so you can go ahead and put whatever it is model dot student at facs dot edu dot lc so when you do that, you have to confirm it by looking at your email to get a, a link from Edmodo that will say, okay, um, your email is confirmed. So it's your first name dot your surname at facs.edu.lc. All right. So make sure you make that little change here. Ask you for your password. Go ahead and put that in and click Save Changes. All right. The other thing I want you to do after this is done, we're going to. There you go. So a confirmation email has been sent to the email address. Okay. So. For this confirmation email, you go to your inbox. This is the model student inbox, and it says that confirmation is required. They just want to know that you can access the email, and this is where all your alerts will be coming through when people chat on Edmodo or when your, your teacher or somebody else makes a post you will get an update in your your email. So that's one way of linking Enmodo to your email account, okay? So it says that you've successfully confirmed that this is your email address, and you just go back to Enmodo, okay? So it's a simple process that you can do just by typing your email address in that little area here. All right, so this. And just wait for me to get back to Edmodo. And I will show you how to sync your Google Drive to your Edmodo account, okay? To do this, you need to go to your backpack. Okay, in your backpack, you have your drive feature 
and you are going to click on it and then log in to connect your drive to your Edmodo account. So let's just see how that works. I click on Google Drive and then it says connect with Google Drive. Again, they will want to know that this is actually your account and you have access to the drive. So you just wait and it will take you to the login window. So you can connect your Google Drive account to your Edmodo account. Okay, you can always change this later when you get another email address and you move on to secondary school. Alright, so this is a model student email. This is a drive I want to connect to Edmodo. So I'm clicking on it. And then, since I'm already logged in, they're just going to ask for permission. So Edmodo wants to view and manage your files in your Google Drive. View your data, view your contacts allow this okay so that's another way that you can connect so that now when you have something to work on you can simply um, use that model to share it as well as send an email if you want to so this gives you a little flexibility and like I said before, Edmodo is still useful um, to us. It will be a nice place where you can share videos and um, have class discussions, etc. with just your class. You can also do this on, on Google, on the Google Suite for Education account. This can also be done. Okay. Edmodo is cool and I think that you've gotten used to it and there's still apps you can find on Edmodo that you will not find on G Suite for Education and you also have features like being able to bookmark um, different accounts in your backpack and you have your messages, your alerts, progress in terms of the assignments you get and when they're marked. So, your parents can connect to you, and if you ever want to disconnect later, you can do that by simply clicking this button to disconnect your, your drive, okay? So here you can already see that I have access to all the, the magazine and the different things, the checklist my classroom, Google Classroom, and the pictures folder that was shared. So I now have access to all of that from Edmodo as well. So you can work on both um, sides and the ease of transferring things from one to the next is there. Okay, I hope this video was helpful and um, do remember to connect your drive to Edmodo and make um, enter your email address so that you can get updates and alerts and messages in your inbox whenever something new happens on Edmodo or your Google Classroom. Okay, do take care everybody and enjoy the use of technology. Remember to use technology responsibly. That is very important. All right. Have a nice day, everybody.